Congratulations on your purchase of a Philips HeartStart on-site AED. With expert guidance and support, Philips AED solutions are here when you need us most. Side by side, step by step. According to the American Heart Association, there are more than 356,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests annually in the U.S., and nearly 90% of them fatal. 70% of out-of-hospital sudden cardiac arrests occur at a home or residence, and almost 20% occur in public places. Your HeartStart AED can help you save the life of someone suffering sudden cardiac arrest. In this video, you will learn how to set up the AED and maintain two accessories that will eventually need to be replaced, the pads and the battery. Let's start with setting up your AED. Your AED will come with an owner's manual and other materials. We recommend you read these materials prior to setting up your device. To begin, remove the HeartStart AED from the shipping box. Unzip the red case. An instruction card is included in the case for your reference. Pull the green tab to start setup. Follow the AED voice prompts and press the orange flashing button so when instructed. If the orange button is flashing, press it. Verified. Testing. You'll need to wait about a minute for testing to be complete. Ready for use. Now your AED is ready to use. You can tell your AED is ready for use when the green LED in the top right corner flashes. In case of an emergency, open the AED by pulling this lever. The device will turn on automatically and begin to provide rescue instructions. Begin by removing all clothing from the patient's chest. Cut clothing if needed. To ensure your AED is ready to use, please check your device periodically to ensure the green light is flashing. If it is not flashing, press the blue I button for instructions or contact your local Philips representative. Now, let's discuss how to maintain your AED. Your HeartStart on-site will need to be maintained periodically. Each system comes with a maintenance sticker to help you keep track of the two accessories you will need to replace, which are the battery and the pads cartridge. On this sticker, write down the key dates for both the install date for your battery and the expiration date for your pads. For your battery, the install date can be found on the sticker on the front of your battery. Keep in mind that the install date on the battery is not an expiration date. It represents the latest date the battery should be installed into the device in order to ensure full battery life. For the pads, you can find the expiration date printed on the pads packaging. Here is how to change your battery. You will know when to change your battery when the AED makes a single chirp sound. If you hear the AED chirp once, press the blue I button for more information. If you hear a triple chirp, please contact your Philips representative immediately. To change the battery, rotate the AED over. Press this latch to pop out the old battery and slip in the new battery, pressing the top end down until the latch clicks into place. The device will automatically start a self-test. Self-test. The battery should be recycled at an appropriate recycling facility. If the orange button is flashing, press it. The AED will say, Verified. As soon as the new battery is inserted, your defibrillator will automatically begin a comprehensive self-test. Self-test. After passing the self-test, your AED will be in standby mode and ready for use. Ensure the green LED status indicator is flashing. You will need to change your pads after use or when they reach their expiration date. To replace your pads, locate the latch at the top edge of the AED and slide it to the side. The pads cartridge will be released. Lift out the used pads cartridge. Remove a new smart pads cartridge from its package and insert the cartridge into the cartridge well on the front of the heart start. It should click into place when properly seated. The green pull handle should be all the way down. To prevent the pads adhesive gel from drying out, do not open the hardcover or film seal of the cartridge until you need to use the pads. Now, let's talk about how to store your AED. To store your Heart Start Home AED, put the device back into the case and in the wall mount, if you have one. 
make sure the quick reference guide is clearly visible in the space provided. For more information about setup, maintenance, and cleaning, check your Heart Start Home Owner's Manual. Follow these few steps and you will ensure your AED is ready to help save a life when you need it. Innovation and in you. Philips.